great. Is Little John home? Well, yeah, he just got here. Uh, he's upstairs with me. Oh, good. I want to see him so badly. Roger's about to collapse over the hospital. I was so upset about Faith and Tom. Oh. I just, you know, need to see my son just for comfort. You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, sure, dear. Honey, watch your coat. Don't get it in the mayonnaise. You know, I love this coat, but this coat is such an enormous responsibility. <laughs> hey, Dee, what is a Fitch, anyway? Oh, a Fitch is a furry little animal. Well, obviously it isn't feathered. I can see that much. But what kind of furry little animal? A Fitch. A ferret. What? A fitch is ferret. I looked it up after you got the coat. What's ferret? Well, they breed them in Europe to chase rats and rabbits. Uh, when they're wild, they're called polecats. Polecat's a skunk. But this coat isn't a skunk. Well, no, that's kind of interesting. I checked that out, too. In America, a polecat is a skunk. Uh. In Europe, a polecat is a mink or a weasel or... Well, then this is definitely European. Well, I, I understand a mink doesn't smell so hot either. Yeah? Well, yeah, I had this friend once. He practically lost his sense of smell when he was a kid because he grew up in the country downwind of a mink farm. Wait, no wait, kidding. Then we couldn't be talking about my coat. Well, D, after all, it's in the same family, huh? I got a customer for this excuse. <laughs> So, you're spending some more time with little John? I'm trying to. I want to spend more time with him. You hear about uh, when Ray Woodard wanted to take him away? I heard she wanted to go down to Palm Beach, take him with Frank. You said no. I certainly did. Which I certainly don't understand the reason why. Little John would have had a great time. Frank would certainly have loved it. Oh, uh, yes, and Ray would have loved it. I don't want Ray using my little boy to get Frank. Honey, I think I understand how you feel about little John, and I think I understand how you feel about Ray, but just be careful. Be careful of what? I don't make any trouble for the Ryans or for Frank. I'm not! What? Well, you could. You could. Look, I'm trying to make a home for my little boy. I said I would wait till the election is over. The election is over. Now, I said I would share him with Frank, and I will, unlike some other people that I know, but he's my son, and I should decide what's best for him, not Ray Woodard, okay? Okay, I think I've got that figured out. I'm saying don't make trouble for Ryan or for Frank. Hey! Oh, 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 no, oh, you won't believe what a fine pair we make. Would you look at that, John? Oh, <laughs> wouldn't you say? Both look beautiful. Oh, yes, well, he's the beautiful one. He is the most handsome, the most good-looking, the best-behaved boy if he just stick his tongue back in his mouth, that's all. Me? <laughs> yes, I don't know what he'd do without you. Oh, it's the other way around, right? Lordy, I don't know what I would do without him. Who's that? Francis! Will you look who's here? It's your father, all tanned and sort of beautiful himself. <laughs> Let me look at you. Oh, yes, you did. Did you the world of good. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> Here's your father. Hi, son. Oh. Well, oh, I missed you. Did you see your father? <laughs> I did, yeah. I saw I saw him downstairs. He told me about Faith. Yeah, isn't that something? What a mess. Well, we'll talk about it later. Mm. In the meantime, pay attention to your son. <laughs> Frank, that's the hat I got him in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah? Yes. Well, speaking of presents. Uh oh, oh. Look what I brought here. you. Oh. A seashell from oh, the beach. Oh, is that something? Oh, you want more, <laughs> do you? <laughs> How do you know I have more? It's greedy. And some window. beach glass. <gasps> but I brought this for you from the airport. Oh, Jana, what could that be? What's that? What is that? A watch. A watch. watch. That's, That's what it, it is. It's like yours. Oh, no, it's not just like mine. I don't have a Mickey Mouse watch. Frank, Frank, he doesn't even tell time yet. Well, he'll learn sooner or later. Yeah. In the meantime, we can oh. put it on his huge wrist. Right? Isn't that something? You like that? Uh, Frank, I have to talk to you about little John. Now? Yes, right now. Why don't I take little John downstairs and his grandfather can see his great new watch. Come okay, on, John. You go with your grandmother, okay? Come on. Come on, John. Yes. There you go. Okay. Thanks. Just pop on down. That's all right. We'll see you later. Bye-bye, dear. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, honey. Go this way. Oops, we've got to get your hat. Delia, I find it hard to believe that whatever it is, it couldn't...
Delia, do you have any idea what the hell you're talking about? Yes, I do. Seneca Bolak is going to adopt Edmund. They've begun proceedings. You didn't know that, Frank? Delia. No, I was sure that you knew that. I didn't think that Jill Coleridge, Jill Bolak was the type of person to take a baby away from you and not tell you about it. All right, it. knock it off. What do you mean they've begun proceedings? Well, I think that's what you call it. I mean, it doesn't happen all of a sudden. You have to begin the process. Look, Frank, you're a lawyer. You would know more about this than I would. I know that some kind of social worker was snooping around, and um, I think they're going to be seeing a judge very soon. Don't tell me what you think. Now, try and put one complete thought together and tell me what you know. I'm not really sure. I'm a little mixed up about this. Frank, you were going to Florida with your lady friend, Mrs. Woodard. A lot of things happened. Faith and Tom got into that accident. I was very, very heavy into commodities. I'm diversifying, so of course I would get a little bit mixed up. What about Edmund? <sighs> Jill said something to Roger about it. And I know it must have been about Edmund because, well, I thought to myself, poor Frank, he's going to be very upset about this. See, Frank, I know you love having children, even though you can't spend a lot of time with them. And I know that. Look, I don't doubt what's important to you. That's not it. You know, for once, I hope you're lying. No, I'm not lying. I work, and I work, and I work to change, and then nobody cares. I'm different. Don't you believe that? No. Well, I am different, Frank. Look, just forget about it. I don't care whether you believe me or not. Just as long as the court believes me and I get custody of little John. Uh-uh. You'll never get hold of little John, Dee. I'll do whatever I have to to make sure of that. He needs me, Frank. You should have thought of that three years ago. You're going to deny little John his natural mother. What are you going to do? Give him over to Ray Woodard? Look, I'm not saying you won't be able to spend any time with him. Of course you will. And he'll know who his mother is. But you'll never get permanent custody of him, Dee. Now try and get that through your head. He loves me, and I love him very much. When it's convenient. You are cruel. You are vicious. And you are very bitter, Frank. You're going to wake up, and you're going to be all alone, and you're going to be very, very sorry. Now, there is no reason for you to blame me about this just because of Jill. It's not my fault just because Jill is letting Seneca adopt Edmund. Do you understand that?